So my stomach's doing better. Um, so not great. So I haven't really been able to eat much other than white flour and bland stuff, which isn't good for you, but when your stomach's upset like this, it's kind of all you can really eat, and it kind of helps calm things down. Um, so my <clears throat> current hotel was only like a couple minutes walk from the previous hotel. Checking in was kind of weird. Uh, there was uh, two girls at the counter, and like they were kind of like taking turns as far as like handling different parts of the conversation. So like I was, I was getting confused about who I was supposed to like, give, give the money to and stuff like that because uh, you have to give a deposit in cash. Um, and then normally <clears throat> when you're a tourist, you have to hand over your uh, passport and they'll scan it. And they didn't have a scanner; they had a they just like used an Android tablet to take a picture of it. So at first I was like, oh, that's Creative. It's more efficient, I guess. Got the keys. Uh, went up. The, the door was open. My room, which is weird. Standard room. Decent view. There's a <clears throat> garden down there. Pillows are a little thick and hard, so it's I kind of got a crick in my neck. A little headache from laying on them. And then that light's kind of annoying because you can only turn it off by getting up or turn it on by getting up. Shortly after I was settling in, the phone started ringing, and uh, oh, the, I can't remember which hotel it was. I think it was the one I was staying at right before this one. Randomly, like. I guess the previous tenant had like set up an alarm on the alarm clock or something like that. So the alarm was going off. I can't remember what time it was, but it was just it was really bizarre having that happen because um, <clears throat> I didn't know what it was at first. Um, but so the, they called and uh, I answered and then they were saying something about smoking. I was like, I don't smoke. And they're like, this is not a problem. I was like, I, no, it's not a problem. Like, okay. I guess they're like asking if it's okay that it's not a non-smoking room, but it's because there's a sign that says it's a non-smoking room. <clears throat> so I have no idea what the call was about. But again, it was kind of a lazy day, filming this uh, morning after again. And then around like like eight o'clock at night, um, I get another call from the office, and they're saying that they uh, need to get another picture of my passport because the picture wasn't clear. So all of a sudden, their little system of using the tablet was kind of <laughs> proven uh, useless. So I'd uh, go down. I was going down anyways to get dinner, and uh, so they got the picture again. So, but yeah, I don't know why they they would keep using that system. Like just buy a copier or a scanner. Um, but so yeah, like at a, <clears throat> I basically been eating like a college student, just having um, either just a bowl of white. You can get a bowl of white rice and heat it up at Seven Eleven or. Uh, Rice balls, I don't feel like having to wait for them to heat it up. Um, and water. Like, I've been having to avoid anything with spices, anything with, like, caffeine, um, alcohol. Uh, and, uh, then one thing that they have here, like, like baked goods are pretty big in Asia, which, like, a lot of people don't really think about when they think of Asia. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, like, at 7-Eleven, they have a lot of, like, more, like, Japanese stuff. Um... But uh, 
Actually, I don't even know if this is Japanese or Thai. But it's, uh, they have, like, <clears throat> just different kinds of toast. And so there's, like, a buttered toast. And I was like, okay, just buttered toast. And uh, so I actually had one slice with lunch, and uh, it was just kind of like a sweeter um, butter, which is good. Um, they didn't offer to heat it up, so I just kind of ate it like that, but it was still okay. Um, and then the one with the dinner, it was actually like a, <laughs> it was like a butter sandwich. And then, um, so she actually did heat that up, and then uh, she asked if I wanted uh, sugar on it. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's like something I would make when I was a kid, just a butter and sugar sandwich. And then uh, she asked if I wanted to put more, like, they had, like, melted butter in, like, a tube. I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> so, that was probably, like, the least healthy thing. And, like, the bread they have, like, it's really good, but, like, you could tell it's just so bad for you. It's not, like, hard to eat, but it's, um, it's very dense for white bread. It's almost like eating, like, sponge cake, I guess. Um, but, so you could tell it's, like, not good for your digestive system. Things other than that, I'm, all I'm having is, like, bananas and rice and water. It's kind of nice to have something a little sinful. When I was uh, getting lunch, I was noticing for the first time that behind the counter, um, this is one of those countries that requires cigarette packaging to show, like, the, the effects of smoking. I'm surprised I didn't notice that before, but, like, so it's just, uh, you know, like, diseased gums and teeth, and there's one where, like, half the jaw is missing. And then there was one where it was, it was very subtle. It was just a, a body in a morgue drawer where just feet sticking out. I was like... Okay, <laughs> we get it. But, um, I mean, I guess it works. I don't know. I haven't really seen too many people smoking here. When I was uh, checking out of the previous hotel, uh, when they gave me back my deposit, they also gave me these uh, um, little, like, watermelon candies. <laughs> so that was, like, my dessert with lunch, but that was pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. I'm still kind of debating where to head to each night since my stomach's still being weird. Like, I don't really feel like walking that much, and then I don't really feel like dealing with the shared bathroom. So, I don't know. Hopefully I recover by tomorrow, so I can kind of enjoy the weekend. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, don't have any much exciting things to show the last few days, but uh, I'll try to... Um, To a few more interesting things once I'm recovered to make up for lost time. Uh, anyway, <laughs> till tomorrow.